Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. We've got a couple of articulating ratchets here. Uh, the first one is this Lyle, it's the 64100, and they call this thing an actuator motor wrench. And it's designed, you know, to reach under the dash or, you know, in some really constrained area to get to the generally 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter um, nuts and bolts that hold um, motors, uh, actuator motors or other kinds, blower motors, etc., onto vehicles. But it has a lot of other uses. Um, basically, what it is is just a handle with a um, kind of a, a gearless infinite ratchet on the front end um, that can be adjusted into different directions. And there's a set screw here. So once you have it in the position that's, um, that's useful, uh, you can put a socket on it or something. Here's a 10 millimeter. Um, it does come also with an eight. I'll show you that in a sec, but anyway. And then that would drop on and allow you um, basically to operate the wrench. Or here's a nut. If I'm going the right direction here, like that, to tighten or loosen the nut. Um, this particular uh, um, head has an insert, so it's got this gearless ratchet. It almost looks like roller bearings in there. Um, and it's, it's basically got zero back drag, but it comes with these two inserts. And these two inserts, uh, one's a quarter inch square for sockets, and this one's a state, uh, fixed eight millimeter. Um, have a little O-ring on the back, and they drop in on either side. So basically one, this is how you'd you know put something on, it would go on um, go on this way. Got to loosen this up. Sometimes this rivet here sticks. Um, goes on one way, and then you'd pop it off, flip it around, and now it would work uh, to put something on or take it off, whichever way it was going. And so that's a not the easiest, but definitely works. And a lot of times, um, you know you have a whole bunch of offs and then a whole bunch of ons when you're done. Um, the other wrench here is this snap-on, and this is a T-handle ratchet. Um, basically, it's a very similar ratchet arrangement as what they've got in their inexpensive dual-sided ones, like this uh, this um, particular 1012 here. Uh, it's about a 20 tooth, which isn't very much. Uh, the number part number on this guy is the RTBM10, and it actually, there's a lot of resistance here, which is good, because then that kind of holds it in a position. If it was just flopping around, it'd be a little tougher to align, and that's something I noticed with this, is, you know, it's, it does kind of flop around, so it's a little tougher to, to line up sometimes. But this guy here, pretty easy. Drop it on. You know, that could be on. If you want it off, flip it over. If you want to get it back to that same area, you know, you can use it either side. Um, in other words, if there's just a small, small a bit of um, accessibility, you can run it this way, flip it over, run it this way. So you can both take on and take off or screw and unscrew this um, with this particular wrench. Um, not a real high tech wrench here. Looks like pressed steel. You know, the ratcheting mechanism, no reversing um, on a standard T-handle with a high school weld right there. Look at that thing. Should work, should hold up. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's not a terribly expensive wrench, but it's definitely expensive enough that it ought to have a little more polish on that weld. Looks like a toothpaste. But... Uh, two actuator wrenches. Now they are different, say, than like if you had a, one of the mountain wrenches um, where they have a flexible tip, a flexible end. Same with, um, you know, the um, standard box end with the flexible. Uh, these, if you look at the angle, I can't get in somewhere. Um, and then if I don't have much room, you know, to, to operate the wrench, I'm kind of stuck, whereas here um, I can get in and literally 
operate it almost like a ratchet, but sometimes I might be up against something else here. Um, and that's why I got this, um, is because there are different kinds of uh, um, situations, as you know from my talks on other wrenches and low profile. Um, I'm trying to get into some very narrow spaces uh, and I wanted to explore and see if these work. The profile here is a bit different. Um, you can see it's almost twice. Um, and that's just to get to a ratchet here. Um, I'm, I wonder if I can get a, a you know, a, a, a lo real low profile bit holder that would fit. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is keep looking for different kinds of articulating wrenches like this. Um, to see if I can solve that. Maybe if you know about one that has a bit holder on the end. The problem with a bit holder is you've got to have some something wedged in to hold the the um, purchase between the bit and the fastener. You know, it's not just able to grip a bolt like this, but it does have, uh, um, once you get it going, it's got a lot of potential, especially for breaking things loose, and then often you might be able to wedge your hand in and do the finish. Um, but it's so much easier than trying to get in with something like this and then you need that that space and sometimes all you've got is a little window that allowed you to get a tool in there and it's simply the back and forth that's about the the amount of space or the amount of room it takes you know let me hold that on let me do it on this one um, for one click whoop right there that's all i need and also you'll notice you know, the, the ability to operate this thing at all kinds of different angles. So whatever you've got, whatever you're able to work with, um, you know, it makes a difference. Whereas a ratchet or something, you can't do that. It doesn't fit. Uh, anyway, um, you know, or here's a 10 millimeter mountain. So you can kind of see what I'm up against here. You know, if I was trying to get to that bolt and there's obstacles in the way, I'd have to have access down below it, and I don't. You know, I basically, this is my window right here to get into that bolt, whereas I can insert this, could bend it, insert it down and in, you know, and hopefully be able to operate it like that. But anyway, so there they are. The, the Lyle 64100 uh, actuator wrench with the eight millimeter and the quarter inch drive on their infinite, you know, zero back drag uh, ratchet head. It's got a set screw here, or you could take this off and build something else. Notice that, um, thought about other options. You know, that, that may come in handy. And I also noticed a couple of times I was tugging on it and this popped right off, just shot off the end of, <laughs> into my hand. And if you put it on, it comes off even easier. Um, so once it pops off, it comes off uh, pretty easy. So I'm going to probably put it some adhesive on that because there's no fastening point on the back. I thought maybe if they had a little screw handle to make it longer or something. Um, but uh, links to both of these, or links to this one down below. This one's on the Snap-on truck. Actually, it's not. Um, I had to special order it. Um, in fact, the dealer I was working with uh, had never seen one before. Um, it seems like a you know, you can buy them in sets. It seems like a handy tool. Uh, and with that, Doc out.